Welcome to Sparta, where you'll find more surprises and more adventure around every corner. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem for those who look for more and never say they've seen it all. You probably know it as a bicycling hub, but did you know that Sparta is home to five bridges that were hand-built by a team of volunteers? Did you know it's the only place in Wisconsin where you can see a real moon rock? Or that it's a top producer for giant fiberglass roadside attractions? Today we're learning there's so much more to explore here in Sparta. Midway between La Crosse and Toma off of I-90, Sparta is located at the junction of the Elroy Sparta and La Crosse River bike trails. While the bike trails bring thousands of people to the area here, the reason why Sparta is considered to be the bicycling capital of America is because the first rail bed to be converted into a bike trail is right here in Sparta. It was purchased in 1965. The Chicago Northwestern Railroad uh, was going to abandon the stretch of railroad grade from Sparta to Elroy. And the then Wisconsin Conservation Commission was contacted about the crazy idea of purchasing this long, narrow sliver of property to become a hiking and biking trail. The big draw, of course, are three railroad tunnels. Because of those tunnels, because you need to stop and walk your bike through, because they're cool and full of fog and interesting to see, uh, it's always been a big draw to the trail. In town, hop off your bike at the Deke Slayton Space and Bike Museum. Not only do they celebrate Sparta's biking heritage, but it also serves as a memorial for astronaut Donald Deke Slayton. Deke Slayton was part of the Mercury 7 group. That's the first seven American astronauts that were ever chosen for the program. And he was born and raised right here in Sparta. The Deke Slayton Space and Bike Museum is a wonderful combination. We combine it all together into a progression of transportation, starting with bikes, going onto planes, and then into space. We have over 100 bikes on display, starting with some of our earliest ones from the mid-1800s, going on all the way to bikes produced today. We've got some great artifacts on loan from NASA, including Deke Slayton's original spacesuit from 1959, and the crown jewel, as it were, is our space moon rock. It is the only one in the whole state of Wisconsin. We've got all kinds of great activities for the kids. This museum is for everybody. Another fascinating place in the area that's a little off the beaten path is the Wegner Grotto. This stunning mosaic and concrete sculpture garden was built by German immigrants Paul and Matilda Wegner. The Wegner Grotto is an amazing place to visit because when you come here, you are inspired with the color, with the beauty, with the designs and shapes, and you can see that this is something special and people from all over come and visit it. Every summer, we host an event called Art Outdoors at the Wagner Grotto County Park. And this is the day where you, the visitor, can create art yourself. So we provide materials like uh, glass and marbles, and you can make art like Paula Matilda did, inspired by the grotto. One thing you will definitely notice when you stroll through the Sparta area are the many bridges, and each of them have their own story. I got to meet the five shovel men, and these guys were basically the, the five volunteers who really deserve the credit for bringing an idea to life. The five of us that you see before you here today are the five shovel men. Uh, it's a collection of five men that have uh, come together uh, over the construction of uh, five bridges and, and many other projects, quite, quite honestly. In order of their construction, it's the Beaver Creek Covered mm -hmm. Bridge, this one? the Ben Biken Bridge, okay. the Point Covered Bridge, the Mary Morrow Covered Bridge, and the last one is the Five Shovelman Bridge. At the time, you know, every nail, every screw doesn't seem like much, but you know, you look back on it, it's really, it really turns into something. I think they're very picturesque, but above all, they're actually used. They're a very big part of the Sparta area, and I think that's a very special, very unique thing. 
Something I learned while visiting is that Sparta is home to some pretty fascinating companies. These local businesses are producing world-class and very one-of-a-kind products with incredible innovation, artistry, and craftsmanship. At Matthews Archery, we design and engineer compound bows and archery equipment for both hunting and target archery. Wisconsin's a huge bow hunting state. Uh, the, the population of bow hunters here is it's, it's actually pretty staggering. And uh, the intimacy in the wild with the animals and the pursuit, it's a close range game. You have to really close the distance. And so your bow in hand, when you're out, when you're out in the wild, that's your, it's your closest companion. There's a lot of great archery products out on the market today, but I can confidently say in Sparta, Wisconsin, um, you know, we definitely strive to make the best and I feel like we do. Right next door and under another name, the company also crafts a different kind of stringed instrument. Coming in here, you've shown us around a little bit. This is a really special place. Yeah, Tell us about McPherson Guitars. Yeah, McPherson started business in 2002. And that first year, I believe we did 11 guitars. And over time, you know, we've, we've evolved with uh, more patents on the bracing, the sound hall, the cantilevered neck, and the things that, are, that McPherson is known for. Our uh, guitars have been referred to by many artists as Bentleys and Rolls Royces. The sound is more like a grand piano. So there's a reason that they look a little different. This is art. These are one-of-a-kind pieces. You know, anybody in shop class can build a drawer, a box, but the real craftsman builds it perfectly. And that's really where these, you know, our guys shine. You can just rub your hand over it, you can feel just perfection. Who are the famous people that oh. use McPherson guitars? You know, people that have actually been here, Rascal Flatts has one, uh, Brad Paisley, Carrie Underwood. How do you level celebrity status, I guess? Really, uh, for us, it's just anybody who loves our product and treats it as a cherished item to them for their trade mm -hmm. is who we consider celebrity. I can bet if you've driven by any roadside attraction and seen a giant fiberglass anything, Fast Corporation out of Sparta, Wisconsin has probably made it. So tell me, what is FAST? What does FAST stand for? FAST stands for Fiberglass Animals, Shapes, and Trademarks. And that's an that's a, inadequate description of what we build here. We build things out of fiberglass, um, statues primarily, um, for a lot of different purposes, whether it be water park industry, slides, or um, public art projects. FAST Corp does allow visitors to stop by the mold yard and I know that mold yard might sound a little odd to you. And guess what? It is. It's a yard filled with molds that they use to make 20 foot long walleye and a 10 foot tall buffalo. And there's Paul Bunyan. It's really a unique space. It's just a natural draw for a lot of different reasons. There's a subculture out there that really thrives and enjoys these roadside attractions throughout the country. And it's, as much as it looks in disarray, it is organized in some, some fashion here. You know, we have bovine over there and horses over there and slides over there and African animals over here and fish over there. Ice cream cones over here. Sure, yes. So, you know, there's, there's, a, there, there's some method to our madness out here. Another important employer with deep roots in the Sparta area is Fort McCoy. Fort McCoy is the only military installation in the state of Wisconsin, and we're here to train all branches of the military for any contingency in the world. Today is Fort McCoy's annual Armed Forces Day open house. It's the one time a year that we actually open the installation for the public to come and see. They don't have to have an appointment to come see the facilities. They don't have to worry about, you know, buying anything. It's all free. We have a rock wall. We have sandbag filling station. We have a face painting where we have the soldiers paint the ch children's faces. If you travel through our um, historical center here in our buildings, you can learn about the history that's involved in, in any installation. This one happens to be in Wisconsin, and because it's in Wisconsin, it's it's your history, not just our history. It's the state's history. And we don't only just support Sparta in Wisconsin, we, in, we support the country. One thing you've got to know about Sparta is that it's practically synonymous with Butterfest. 
a hometown family-friendly celebration that takes place the second weekend in June every year. It's a pretty happening day today in Sparta. Sure is, we've <laughs> kicked off our Sparta Butterfest here down on the Fest grounds. So what is the whole concept behind Butterfest? Um, back in the day here in Sparta, we used to be um, a big butter maker. The city wanted to do a celebration and they decided to center it around um, all of our butter makers here in town. All right, so what can folks do here at Butterfest? Um, there are several things that they can do. Um, as you can hear, we have the carnival going on. There's food vendors. Thank you, you made my day. Best fair food of all time. We have the arts and crafts. We do a poker run. There's a car show. We have the fest tent that's open that starts every day at noon that opens with entertainment in it. We also do have the cow milking contest that we will be having you do later. Oh <laughs> Did you guys hear about how poor my cow milking skills are? Because they're not very good. They're very friendly cows. <laughs> all right, you heard it from Ken. <laughs> I'm almost up, and this cow is a little antsy, keeps dancing around, and I did not wear the right footwear for this. Go, 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 go. Grab your bucket, approach the cow. Four, two, one, Good job! I did contribute a little bit to the team's milk there, so I'm not too upset about it. But it was definitely an event I've never witnessed before, let alone take part in. It was very Wisconsin. Butterfest is a great family event because I think it's impossible to not have fun here. Oh my <laughs> From the rides to the food to all of the events, there's literally four days of fun going on here in Sparta. It's just an event in Wisconsin that you've got to experience. Summer is not the only time for celebration in Sparta. When the winter holidays roll around, the town transforms into a festive winter wonderland. So we have a pretty wide variety of holiday events here in Sparta. Uh, it starts with the Chris Kindle Market, which runs three weekends. The booths are manned by a, a variety of crafters and uh, vendors from the city, and they change sometimes twice a day, so there's always a wide variety of things for people to look at and purchase. We have a, a little bit of entertainment on the stage. Uh, people come, uh, even if they don't come to buy stuff, it's the place to come and visit with friends, uh, have a little glue vine. It's a popular spot. In addition to the Chris Kindle Market, we have our holiday parade, which takes place in the evening, and so it's all lit up, as you will see, and it's very cool. Evans Bossard Park is the home of our holiday lights. People can walk through the park and see all of the light displays. We're also very fortunate to be one of the stops on the Canadian Pacific Holiday Train. It's a big event for us every year. Uh, typically, it attracts thousands. People should come and experience this because it's quite unique. You won't find that anywhere else but Sparta. One of the best things about Sparta, year-round outdoor recreation. You already know about the Elroy Sparta and La Crosse River bike trails, but did you know that there are more than 300 miles of snowmobiling trails that run through Monroe County? We have really a unique area where we are. We travel through a lot of forested land. We have a lot of farm fields that we travel, beautiful vistas. We have hills, valleys, coolies. It's a remarkable area. Compared to other areas in the state, this is arguably one of the most beautiful areas to snowmobile. Winter in Sparta is also a great time to get out on the frozen water. Enjoy your friends, family, and neighbors, and do some ice fishing. Welcome to Sparta! The event going on today is Schnetzler Sports Store Fishing Derby. We have a tournament every year to try to raise money to keep restocking our lake. And we draw people from Racine, Sheboygan, all over the place. They come back to visit their families and spend a weekend on the ice. I have my great-grandson here, and I have my granddaughter over there. Oh, they love it. They love it. You tell them you want to go ice fishing, and they're right there. Snitzler's the bait shop in town. They start at this. Any profits they make, they put back into this little lake for the kids. It's for the kids. Sparta in general, we got some really good fishing, even summer fishing. We got Beaver Creek, and then we got the Lacrosse River, Little Lacrosse River, and there's a lot of fishing opportunities in the area. It's all about the fishing and not so much about the catching. 
for me, it's, it's uh, relaxing. It's a way to get away from the humdrum and busyness of a person's real life. And then oftentimes I fish for a while and then I find a shady spot and I just sit and I watch and, and then the wildlife comes out. It's absolutely a treasure that we've got this, you know, this kind of water right here in town. As a kid, I used to come to, uh, to Sparta and bike the Elroy Sparta Trail with my family and friends. I always ended up being drawn to the river running through town here. The reason why I like fly fishing so much is it takes me to beautiful places and gives me a different perspective. Some people climb to the top of hills and that's what they're drawn to do. For me, I want to go to the stream bank and then to the stream bed. Sparta is just such a, a surprising place to find so much good fishing, both in town and then nearby as well. In addition to fishing, the rivers that run through Sparta are ideal for canoeing and kayaking. A great place to start, the Upper La Crosse River. It's just a spring-fed river, real clean water and sand bottom. There's a lot of twists and turns on this river, as you can see the bends of the, the, the corners and everything. We've had them six years old kayaking, and we've had them up to 80 years old canoeing. So I think everyone should come out and just get on the river, get with your friends, and just get out there and have a good time, maybe swim a little bit. A lot of people will do the biking one day, and then they'll come down here and hop on the river for the day, and they really enjoy it. Sparta, Wisconsin is the place that I've spent the most time in Wisconsin as a tourist. And that's just some of the best memories I've had as a kid. So Sparta has a really important place in my heart. I always enjoy my time in Sparta, and I can't wait to come back again soon. In some ways, it's your classic small town here in Wisconsin, but there's also this kind of eclectic side of Sparta that I'm not sure a lot of people have experienced. This is definitely the kind of community that is going to surprise you in the best of ways. happened to be like a hard string of words for me to say. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, my sweet. I have very, very low expectations for my performance here. And you should do it now. <laughs>